nature, rags to riches story for you. Three years ago, this week, I attended my very first Star East conference. I had been testing for about seven years, and I had had a coworker who let me know that the Star conferences were an absolute requirement. I had to go. She had been to one a few years ago and had learned the most amazing information. I had tried for a while to go and could never get a company to pay for me to go. So I did finally get to come to a Star East and I met Elizabeth Hendrickson and I met Lisa Crispin and I met a whole gaggle of people, some of who are keynoting, that had been on my mentor slash admirer list for a while. Here I am now, keynoting at that same conference three years later. So I have all the secrets that you need to advance your career to whatever degree you want to advance it to, because I did it. So most of us that are not involved in the software testing community, that are not blogging, that are not on Twitter, uh, the only thing out there that exists that really lets people know about us is a resume. This was my resume a few years ago. Looking at that, what can you tell about me? You can tell where I live. You can tell what technology stacks I've worked with. You can tell which companies I've worked with, but you probably don't know anything about those companies. You can tell what I say I did. Maybe I didn't, maybe I did. In this case, I really did tell the truth. But you can't tell anything about what kind of person I am, what kind of a tester, I am, how I work with other people, how I solve problems. Do I have good critical thinking skills? That's not on here. Now, this is uh, my Twitter account and my blog. If you go find me on these media, you can get a little bit more information. If you look at my Twitter account over there, you can see a picture of a ninja monkey. <laughs> Uh, that tells you something, maybe. You can see how I communicate with other people. You can see what questions I'm asking, what things am I struggling with, and how am I solving them. If you read my blog, you can get information about problems that I've solved and how I've solved them. You can read some stories of experiences that I've had. When you're in an interview for a job, a lot of times they ask you questions like that, right? They say, Tell me about a time when. Well here, here are some examples that people can just read about online. I don't have to tell them. They're already out there. By having a public presence of some kind, anybody who wants to know about you gets a lot more information than something like just your resume. They can find out how you feel about issues in this field that you're involved in. They can find about what what are you having trouble with? Do you tend to have trouble with technical issues? Do you tend to have trouble with people issues? Have you ever punched a developer in the face? <laughs> they can find out how you've solved problems. They can find out how well you will work with people on their team. A lot of that information is contained in forum posts and blog posts and Twitter posts. Also, I've learned they can tell if you already exhibit leadership qualities, even if you don't realize you do. When I first met this group of people at Star East a few years ago, they told me, Dawn, you're a natural speaker. And I said, you guys are crazy. No way, not happening. Turns out they were right. I enjoy it, it's fun. I'm having a good time. The types of things that you can do right now to involve yourself in the public community are start a blog. I've said that to a lot of people who have immediately said to me, um, uh, nobody cares about what I have to say. And in fact, I said those exact words to Elizabeth Hendrickson three years ago. I found out that even though I initially thought nobody cared what I had to say, if I blogged about problems I had solved, every single time somebody would come to me and say, I found your blog, I had that problem. Thank you for helping me solve it. That was worth the 20 minutes it took to write the blog post. Three years ago, Elizabeth Hendrickson also told me I should be on Twitter. And I thought, are you crazy? Twitter? That's so dumb sounding. 
but I found that it got me connected to other people in the community. You can also join local user groups through Meetup and other similar organizations. I found the Agile RTP group in my local area in Raleigh and have connected myself to a lot of people via that group alone. One thing you can do right now, you're at Star East, you're at a conference, a whole group of experts are here, go find them after sessions. If you run into them in the hallway, say hello. Almost every single person I've ever done that with has been more than willing to talk to me. So what will happen, you'll develop a network. This is, this is a map of my LinkedIn connections at this point. By having a network, what you do is you guarantee that should something happen, like you lose your job, you'll have people to fall back on to help you find another one. You'll also find that you will learn more faster than you can ever do by any other means. What I found was my connections through Twitter and my connections in user groups meant that when I had a question or something I was struggling with, I could get it answered in less than 30 minutes instead of a day and a half of struggling with it myself. Types of things you need to look out for, however, when you've got a public presence, are not being afraid to stand up for your opinion and say, this is how I feel, and this is why I feel this way. Obviously, I've already mentioned, not just assuming that nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Most of the time, somebody's gonna be interested in what you're saying, because many people are encountering the same problems in their jobs. Also, be sure to keep what you're saying professional. Um, just, it's, it's something that ends up happening. No drunk tweets, no drunk blogging. Not that I have ever had that problem. And the final thing, I heard somebody say this on a radio station recently, is before you go for a, and apply for a job, make your Facebook profile private. That way, whatever information I find out about you doesn't have to be something as intimately private as the stuff you put on Facebook. Take this. And I can guarantee that if you follow all of the things that I've said, your career will go exactly where you want it to, faster than you ever dreamed that it could.